Three years ago, I started taking cold showers. It's become my daily discipline, a way to train my mind's dominance over my body's wants. Four months ago, I hurt my knee. I was playing volleyball, and then, you know, I went up for a spike, landed wrong, and needed ACL surgery. Honestly, I was pretty bummed out. It was kind of peak fitness. I was getting ready for a triathlon just a week at later, and I had been training for the triathlon for two years. And uh, so I was pretty bummed out. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I was kind of thinking to myself, you know, maybe I should just let myself have some comfort, some ease, let myself take a warm shower. But uh, I'm kind of happy, you know, it's four months now, it's three years of taking cold showers, like, and I can still say that it's been strong. And, you know, around that time, right after I injured my knee, I stumbled on this video on YouTube of this lady taking an ice bath in a lake, and I was just like, wow, that's incredible. And I'm like, you know, I was about to do a pretty incredible triathlon, but right now with my gimp leg, can't do that, but I can still do, you know, incredible things. And I'm like, I'm gonna challenge myself to do an ice bath this year. And so pretty much every Sunday since surgery, which was like 12 weeks ago, I've been in the lake. You know, in the beginning it was warm, 60 degrees, you know, slowly stopped dropping down to 50 and then 40. Um, and yeah, it got colder and colder. This is the first week that the entire lake froze over. I need to grab the axe and start picking at it. Actually, this axe worked really well. I was surprised. I wasn't sure how I was going to do it. I was going to bring like a saw out or a chainsaw or something. One thing to note too is you want the ice to be at least four inches thick before you go on it. And you want four inches of clear ice. If it's been snowed on or something, you probably want double that for it to be safe to go on. I thought this was pretty fascinating how that ice block just skidded underneath the, the clear ice and you could see it coasting around. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I remember at the beginning of this ice bath journey, you know, having a lot of questions okay. like, Oh, is it okay to put my heart underneath ice cold water? Am I gonna like f die? But uh, yeah, it's been a good journey and I like that I acclimated myself, you know, week by week. You know, 60 degrees, it wasn't so bad, but as soon as I hit 50, you know, it was pretty hard to go in there and stay for any length of time. 10 minutes was always my goal, to make 10 minutes, I was happy. And you know, it just gave me confidence doing it week after week okay. after week, you know, going from 60 degree water now down to like 30 something or low 40 degree water and uh, just knowing I could do it because I had just done it the week before and now it's iced over but sure I had just done it and uh, yeah it, always, it definitely helps to be warm you know I'm still warm right now from doing all that axe cutting that was a lot of hard work it was probably 15 minutes pounding on that ice so I definitely recommend doing some kind of workout or something to get your heart rate up and get your blood pumping before going in I've done it cold it's just a lot more painful uh, so definitely a quick tip to getting started with this is get your heart racing originally when I was thinking of making this epic video about ice baths I was thinking I'd make it nice and serene just like that video that inspired me and try to do all the same things she did but you know, with four kids, it's not really possible. You know, the, my wife was inside Wait, with Kaylee, the newborn, and I brought the three other kids out to kind of help her yeah. out. And, uh, like yes, it. definitely not as peaceful, but the distraction was actually quite valuable because I have to say, the, this time around, it was quite, not, I wouldn't say easy, but it was, it, the time passed so quickly, trying to make sure uh, <laughs> these kids were okay. Uh, my little one, Kaylee, okay. she constantly was like, oh, I want to go inside, it's cold, or I want to go in the ice bath with you. I'm like, no, what do I don't you think? think you actually want to do that. You want to come in too? You want to go in the hot tub? With Dada after this? Okay, I'll do that, okay? I want to go with the hot tub after Can you this. see my hand? Can you see my hand underneath you? Uh-huh. <laughs> Can you see my hand, Kaylee? Look down. Can you see my hand? Can you see Dada's hand? Dada hand. I did want to give a shout out to my brother-in-law, Cart, who has his own YouTube channel, Every Other Carl. He helped me film this. I told him, hey, I think I'm going to do the ice bath today. And he's like, okay, I'm coming over. So he helped me film this. So that's who I'm talking to a lot of the time. And uh, he kind of helped me watch out for the kids and make sure they weren't doing anything too dangerous while I was predisposed. But uh, yeah. Yeah, so I've got a counter on the bottom right there. It's been three minutes at this point. Um, yeah, like I said, it was going pretty good. I wasn't panicking. I wasn't even focused on my breathing so much, and maybe that was just you know the experience of just doing this on a week by week basis and being ready for it. So here we're posing for some pictures, thumbnail for this YouTube video. 
Um, and you can see my little girl there breaking down a little bit. She's definitely getting cold, and starting to want to go inside. So I think that that more than more than how long can I last? It was like how long? Can Anything she you guys last? want me to do? Alvin, your hands are too close. To that you guys want me to go under? Yeah. Yeah. You won't break through though. Go under, sir. Sure. Another tip for ice baths is to, you know, think about what you want to do with your hands. Some people just leave their hands out because they're the first thing to kind of go numb and get really, really cold. Um, what I like to do is just put them under my armpits and that seems to work really well. My feet seem to be okay. It's really the hands that are the first to kind of go numb and start throbbing. And you definitely want to Almost think about there. how you're going to warm up your Maybe body afterwards because it's very likely, you know, you're going to drop a degree okay. of you know, internal body you temperature and you want to be able to regain oh, you want that. To go in with that. It definitely helps to have like a hot cup of tea or <laughs> no, you you know, some way to warm yourself, whether it be a fire. I mean, my fire is here. pretty miserable here, but some way to warm yourself. And for me, you know, luckily I live a hundred feet away from the lake. So I'm just gonna, right after this is done, is hop into actually my hot tub. Uh, prior to buying the hot tub, it was an early Christmas present for ourselves. It's a good YouTube video I made on, you know, buying it, installing it and why we did. But um, anyway, I would go into my bath and, you know, I usually don't bathe. I take like really quick cold showers, They're like three or four minutes long. But, you know, after an ice plunge, I would soak in that hot bath for like 45 minutes. And it goes get cold, so I turn it hot, hotter. And, and, and then, so that's what kind of the reason we got the hot tub. I was like, I asked my wife, like, what do you think? You know, these hot tubs are not too expensive. 500 bucks, we can put them in the garage. What do you okay, think? Nine, that became 20 seconds. Christmas gift to ourselves. Count down? Honestly, we use it every other when? day. The kids love going in it and going <laughs> naked because it's in their garage. In the summer, we're going to put it right next to our cold oh, yeah, pool so that we can use it for longer. Um, yeah, and it's been a good thing. Definitely recommend watching that video. Um, and it's been so good for recovering afterwards. I'm still in it for 30 minutes, you know, Eight, warming up. Seven, but uh, six, definitely better than that. Five, so I highly recommend that if you are able to do it. Two, one, zero! That's it. I lasted 10 minutes. I was super thrilled, honestly. Like I said, in the very beginning, my goal was two minutes. Last in the frozen cold lake, two minutes. And I, you know, far surpassed that. I think 10 minutes is very uh, competitive with uh, a lot of these ice plunge people. And so I was pretty happy with that. And so looking forward to jumping into that hot tub right after this. So I brought Kaylee in with me and called it a day. But uh, yeah, my first goal of 2022 accomplished. Hope this inspired some of you guys. And yeah, definitely join like a local Wim Hof method group. That's what I did for my first ice plunge. Yeah, actually the closest group was like an hour away. So I drove an hour at like 6 a.m. to get to this cold, frozen lake. And uh, yeah, met with three others who were jumping in the lake and there's snow on the ground. It's cold. I'm like, whoa, man, this is weird. But uh, it was great to ha be under the tutelage of people who've been doing it for years and know, okay, so it is okay to put your heart under the, the cold, freezing water and I'm going to be okay. And man, but after that, I was like just in my car for like 40 minutes of heat on full blast trying to warm up. But uh, it was a good start to this journey. And uh, thanks for joining me and watching this video. <laughs> Hope it inspired you. Leave me a comment. If you like the video, definitely like it. And if you want to subscribe, always doing crazy cool things with the family. All about family, fun, and finance. So check it out. Thanks, guys. Godspeed. Mm -hmm.